Welcome to Excise and Licenses online training videos. This video will show you how to add a delegate to your account that can add applications, delete applications, change records, and pay fees for your account. The steps to apply this delegate to your records, you want to make sure that the delegate has an account created in Denver's Online Permitting and Licensing Center. They'll need a um, email and a password where they've created an account already for on our online center. And then you'll need that email address that they use to create their account. And also it needs to be noted that if they already have an account with records, your records and their records will all show under their email once you add them as a delegate on your account so they need to make sure that they don't get confused of whose record is who your records will show under their records if you add them as a delegate all right so in order to add them as a delegate you'll first want to log into your account so you are going to log in to your account with your email and password. So you click on login. And then up here where it says account management, you're gonna click on account management. And then down here where it says delegates, you're gonna add a delegate. And you are gonna, add, and this is basically giving them visibility into your account and the ability to update your records or add applications under your account, pay fees under your account, whatever. So you are going to enter in the name of the person that you're giving access to your account and you're going to enter in their password. And then here you're going to say what they can do in your account. So you, what if you say that you only want them to make payments? So if you don't want them to be able to create applications, renew, amend, manage inspections or anything like that, you would just click on change and then you would unclick business licenses. If, and so you would go into each category and say whether or not you want them to have visibility into business licenses for your account. Um, if you only want them to make payments, then that's the only one that you would leave the checkbox for uh, making payments for that section. So you would just go in through each category and um, say whether or not you want them to have that ability. If you want them to be able to do everything that you do on your account, then um, you just uh, leave everything blank you check uh, check that i'm not a robot and then you click on invite a delegate and then um, this shows that you invited that person to be a delegate on your account and then what's going to happen is they are going to receive an email and that email will say um, so and so invited you to be a delegate on their account. Please go in and log into your account and accept this invitation. So, what they will do is they're going to click on log in and they're going to enter in their email and password and then uh, click on log in. And then up here under account management, they're going to click on account management. And then they're going to go down and here it's under delegates. It says, um, so-and-so invited you to be a delegate for their account. Are you going to accept this or reject this? And if you click on accept, then now when you go to my records, their records and your records are all going to appear under your records and you'll be able to um, update their records and if they gave you ability to add delete manage update amend pay fees due that will all show up in your field in your records along with their records 
And so that's how that will happen. And then if you ever want to not have access to their records any longer, you'll again click on account management and you will go down under add a delegate and under the actions, you'll just click on renew, remove. And that's the same for the person that gave you access. If they don't want you to have access any longer, they would log in under their email and password, go down to delegates and remove you as a delegate on um, their account. And so that's how you can add people to your account to be able to also manage or update your accounts. And uh, that concludes this training video. And I thank you for watching this Denver Excise and Licenses video. And I hope that you have a great day. Thank you.